Hi guys, it's Emily and in this video I'll be giving you some hints on how to solve a problem like this one. So we're given a triangular pyramid and we're asked to find its lateral surface area. Um, and so the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the true shapes of each side of the pyramid before we can compute the lateral surface area. And the way that we're going to find those true shapes is by using the edge view method. Now, I have another video explaining step by step how to solve an edge view method problem. So I'll link that below. I would check that out first before watching this video. Um, but after you watch the edge view method video, then you'll be able to solve this problem. So. The first few hints that I want to give you are that, well, the first tip actually is in our top view, we can see that the base of the triangle or the base of the pyramid rather is uh, X, Y, and Z. So that's one plane that we have and we we actually, this is actually um, the true shape of this plane. And the way that we know that is because if we look at our frontal plane, we can see that this bottom line that makes up the base of the pyramid in the front view is parallel to our HF folding line. So that means that all of the points that make up the lines in our adjacent horizontal view are true lengths. So if we're talking about line X, Y, we can see that in our horizontal plane that X, Y is also parallel to our HF folding line. So this means that it's a true length. And if we take a look at line X, Z in our horizontal plane, um, or sorry, in our frontal plane, we can see that this line, because it also is our X, Y line, uh, we can see that it's parallel to our HF folding line. So that means that our X, Z line in our horizontal plane is a true length line. And similarly for line Z, Y, this line is parallel to our HF folding line and therefore in our adjacent horizontal plane, line Z, Y is a true length. So since we have true length, on all three lines that make up this triangular base, that means that we have a true shape. Okay, so that's our first hint. Uh, secondly, what I mentioned before, this is kind of just reiterating, is that we need to find the true shapes of the rest of the triangular surfaces that make up this pyramid. So the true shapes that we need to find, TS for short, so the true shapes that we need to find are of planes O, Y, and C. Uh, o, Z, and X. And O, X, and Y. And the way that we're going to find those is by using the edge view method. Oops. And 
And then once we obtain the true shapes of those three surfaces, then we can compute the lateral surface area. And the lateral surface area is the area of um, is the area of the shape minus the base. So we won't include the base of the triangular pyramid in our lateral surface area calculation. So we'll just be adding the true shapes of these planes. Okay, and so those are all the hints that I have for you guys. Um, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.